glasses here. I wanted to tell to start today by telling you about my headache. Uh, these uh, for the past month or so, I've had a really bad headache, but it's been going up and down. And the thing is that even though a headache is what I feel the most right now, it's like they explain in the book in Saint Amand's book. It's um, it's just the part that's screaming the loudest right now. I mean, my hips still, my hip joint, my muscles still hurt, and my knees and my ankles and my elbows and shoulders and everything still hurts. But since the head is screaming the loudest, it's the one that I hear the most right now. It's kind of overshadowing the um, the other parts. Now my headache is kind of all over the head but the part that's my nose is also bothering me right now my skin on my face and my nose is are all very sensitive and the glasses really hurt so when I wear them I'm, I'm watch, when I watch TV it's on the tip of my nose but that still irritates my nose so right now I don't need them so I'm not gonna wear them um, yesterday my headache was so bad and I was reading my Haruki Murakami book and I finished it, um, The Chase of the Sheep, something with the sheep, and I really love his books, it's, it's all I want to read right now and I need to go buy some more because I finished all the ones that I have. So after I finished the book, I was lying in bed, my head, and especially my right eye, now it's on both eyes, but still the right eye is more bothered. It feels like it's gonna pop out from the pressure. It's so bad, and it's frustrating because there's I, there's no pill I can take to help with it. Um, anyway, uh, one thing. So that's the crazy thing that's bothering me right now: the headache. Um, and I, I can't remember when was the last time that I couldn't sleep for as long as I, you know, I was up for like an hour after I finished the book and I was ready to go to bed, I was still up in my bed and couldn't fall asleep because of the pain. It was very, very frustrating. Anyway, the next thing is uh, I've been getting quite, well, all the time I've been getting comments on my blog and people saying that they appreciate my honesty and that even when I'm having a sucky day or if I'm having a good random day um, that I tell you about it and I don't hide the bad parts even though it's hard to do a video when you're upset it's hard to do a video when you're depressed and when you're in so much pain but I'm always in pain so what the hell so I'm glad that you appreciate my honesty I really try I've always tried and I've always been pretty honest I think um, I don't hold things inside and I'm pretty open and tell people what how I feel and what's going on with me so I'm glad you appreciate it and I'm gonna keep doing it and uh, I hope it helps I hope you you see you're not alone and it helps me see that I'm not alone um, next thing I want to tell you is that tomorrow I'm going to my doctor in Jerusalem the one that I sort of grew up with and she knows my family and we know her and I hope uh, I'm gonna photocopy for her there's an appendix or an episode in the back of the Saint Amman's book that's uh, targeted for doctors who know about fibromyalgia but don't know about the treatment with guaifenesin and don't know what the causes are according to them so I'm gonna photocopy it for her so that she can read and I'm going to ask her for a prescription for the guaifenesin because I'm upset with the doctor that gave me this uh, this prescription. First of all, because just after I begged him and told him that I can take more pain, I mean, it's not doing its part. Um, he said that I can do the 400 and 400 milligrams, which is 800 and still much lower than... Um, what most people take for the month after they raise the dosage for the first time and it 
upset to me because he says, no, you have to come here and we have to do the mapping. And the mapping is you have the front and back of the body on the map and you, he marks where the lumps and bumps are of the fibromyalgia. Not according to what I say, but according to what he feels. And it's supposed to be a um, sort of neutral um, follow-up on what's going on with me. So I know that's important, but the way he talks and, I don't know, just the, the vibe that I get from him, it just feels like he's greedy and just, no, you have to come over. Every time I come there, it's over $100 uh, just for the meeting. So I feel he's been greedy. And in Israel, you have to understand that we, we have, like I said, mandatory health insurance. So you usually don't have to pay when you go to the to a regular doctor, a general doctor, a family, and whatever. Um, so, I don't know, it just feels like he's being greedy and it's expensive and, and he's being stubborn and that upsets me. So, he, I'm gonna go tomorrow and hope that my doctor can give me the prescription and that she wants to learn about it and I'd rather go to her than go to him. Um, I'm just, I just don't get a good vibe out of him. Anyway, so that's it with the doctor, I'll let you know how that went. Um, the last thing I want to tell you that I also read in the book is that the important kind of exercise that I need to do or that people with fiber need to do is the aerobic kind. The walking and uh, you know, power walking or walking and or running or bicycles or anything that you can because um, the muscles that you work and build up with that kind of exercise are the ones that usually get hurt from fibromyalgia which is why it's so hard to do everything with your body. I'm not going to explain the whole thing because First of all, I can't remember all the different types of uh, muscle fiber and the explanations and everything. I'm not a doctor. But it made sense, to, according to what I read. And so, like I told you about the gym last uh, week on Wednesday, I'm gonna take it easy and just do the mild aerobic type exercise and the whole muscle strengthening thing. I'm gonna do, you know, the push, the weights and everything probably going to do maybe once a week um, if, it, if at all at first so since Wednesday I've only been doing aerobics and I'm going to keep doing that Tomer does his weights and lifting and everything um, once every two days so we'll see I hope it gets better this week we have um, another holiday this is the time of the high holidays in Judaism so the holiday that we have now is Sukkot, where we build these tent type things in the yard and sit in them. It's a reminder of when our ancestors were in the desert from going from Egypt to Israel, that they built the little tents so that they could have somewhere to sleep in. Um, that was a really short explanation, but anyway, it's another holiday, it's about a week long, and starts on Wednesday evening. So happy holidays and have a pain-free week and I hope to see you next time. Bye.